Hi friends, welcome back to the lecture Damped Harmonic Oscillator. In this lecture, we will discuss what is Damped Harmonic Oscillator, its equation, its solution and finally the energies of the Damped Harmonic Oscillator. Now let us see an example for a Damped Harmonic Oscillator. A simple pendulum oscillating in a viscous medium like air, the amplitude is continuously decreasing and the energies are decreasing, the mechanical energy is decreasing, potential energy is decreasing and the kinetic energy is decreasing. And finally, the bob comes to the rest. So this kind of harmonic oscillations where the damping occur is called damped harmonic oscillations. Now the question arises why this damping occur? The presence of various kinds of frictional forces oppose the oscillatory motion all the way. So this is the reason for the damping. So one of the best frictional force is viscous force, where viscosity is the resistive force opposing the movement of the body offered by fluids, air, etc. If the velocity of the body is not so large as to make any turbulence in the medium, the viscous force is proportional to the velocity, that is, F will be proportional to minus V or F can be equated F is equal to minus B into V, where this B is the proportionality constant and B, sorry, V is the instantaneous velocity. Now we'll, we will find the equation of damped harmonic oscillator. Let us take the spring mass system as an example. The spring mass system oscillating in a viscous medium like air, water, etc. The net force will be the force of the spring, that is the restoring force of the spring, plus the viscous force of, offered by the medium. So F is equal to F spring plus F viscous. So this can be written as a max double dot, which is equal to F spring is minus Kx and the viscous force is minus B into V. Or in terms of x, this v can be replaced by x dot, so this can be written in this form. Now, dividing throughout by m and setting this k by m as omega 0 square and b by m as gamma, and taking these two terms to the left side, this equation can be written as x double dot plus gamma x dot plus omega 0 square x equal to 0. So this is the differential equation representing the damped harmonic oscillator, where the additional term to the equation of the simple harmonic oscillator is this gamma x dot. In the absence of this term, the equation becomes the equation of the simple harmonic oscillator. What will be the solution of the damped harmonic oscillator? Let us find the solution by assuming the form of solution as x equal to a e to the power alpha t, where we don't know what is alpha, what is a. So substituting this x in the equation of the damped harmonic oscillator, the differential equation of the harmonic oscillator, 
where we have to find x dot that is dx by dt and x double dot that is d square x by dt we will obtain the solution as x equal to a1 e to the power minus gamma by 2 root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square t plus a2 e to the power minus gamma by 2 minus root of this one into t. Now there are three possibilities. When this gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square that is the term inside the square root if it is positive value the square root of the value will be again another positive value so in that case the result will be the solution will be a over damped case or deadbeat case if it is a negative value the result inside the square root is a negative value the square root becomes a complex value that is the result becomes an oscillatory damped case when this one is equal to 0 that is gamma square by 4 equal to omega 0 square this is cancelled so the term becomes a critically damped case. So we will discuss the oscillatory damped case in detail where the condition is gamma square by 4 is less than omega 0 square so that the term inside the square bracket becomes a negative value. Here we found that the solution is x equal to a e to the power minus gamma t by 2 cos omega 1t plus 5. Again, uh, this, where this a and phi are the arbitrary constants and this omega 1 is equal to root of omega 0 square minus gamma square by 4. Where this omega 0 is the angular frequency in the absence of any damping. Also, this solution can be written as this term is replaced by, by a of t, a time dependent amplitude, into cos omega 1t plus 5. So this is equivalent to, this form is equivalent to the undamped harmonic oscillator with this exponentially reducing amplitude. The amplitude is not a constant but it is decreasing exponentially with respect to time. And also this omega 1 is less than the omega 0 where this omega 1 is root of omega 0 square minus gamma square by 4. So this is the representation of different damped harmonic oscillators. When damping is slow, when damping factor is slow, this gamma will be low, so this amplitude rate of decreasing amplitude also will be low. But here the damping is high, so the amplitude of the oscillation is decreasing fast. The two other cases are represented graphically where the critically damped case gamma square by 4 is equal to omega 0 square is represented in red color. Here this is decreasing exponentially and when this gamma square by 4 is greater than omega 0 square that is the over damped case or deadbeat case this is represented by this green one. Now, what is the energy of the damped harmonic oscillator? We discuss here the simplest case, the energy of the oscillatory damped harmonic oscillator. So we saw that for the oscillatory damped case, the solution was x equal to a e to the power minus gamma t by 2 
cos omega 1 t plus phi. So the velocity becomes by taking differential with respect to time. There are two time dependent functions in this equation. So first differentiating with respect to this e to the power minus gamma t by 2 and then differentiating with respect to cos omega 1 t plus phi. So we get these two terms and taking this omega 1 outside here there is no omega 1 so we have to divide omega 1 so this becomes minus omega 1 a e to the power minus gamma by 2t sine omega 1 t plus phi plus 1 by 2 gamma by omega 1 cos omega 1 t plus phi if the damping is so small, we can neglect the second term on RHS. When the damping is very small, this gamma will be a very small quantity. Compared to this omega 1, also this cos term can have a maximum value of plus or minus 1. So this will be a neglected, this can be neglected. Therefore, we can approximate the velocity as minus omega 1 a e to the power minus gamma by 2 t sine omega 1 t plus phi. So that we can write the kinetic energy k of t is equal to half mv square where v is this one minus omega 1 so taking the square minus square omega 1 square a square this 2 is cancelled then sine square so this is the kinetic energy now for to find the potential energy the time dependent potential energy u of t where x is the solution a e to the power minus gamma by 2 t cos omega 1 t plus phi so this becomes the square of all these terms a square e to the power minus gamma t cos square omega 1 t plus phi and we get the total energy simply adding these two terms where this a square and e to the power minus gamma t and 1 by 2 are the common so taking outside so this becomes this into m omega 1 square sine square omega 1 t plus phi then k cos square omega 1 t plus phi when the gamma is very small this omega 1 also can be approximated as omega 0 since gamma is very small this can be neglected so the total energy can be written as like this where this omega 1 can be replaced by omega 0 so that m omega 0 square becomes k so this is replaced by k so the equation becomes the equation for the total energy becomes half a square e to the power minus gamma t k into cos square omega 1 t plus phi k sine square omega 1 t plus phi where this k becomes a common parameter so that this cos square plus sine square is separated and is equal to 1 therefore this becomes half k a square e to the power minus gamma t at the time t is equal to 0 the energy is half k a square that is the initial energy so in terms of initial energy we can write this e of t as this initial energy into e to the power minus gamma t that is e of t is equal to e0 e to the power minus gamma into so this is the graphical representation of the energy the energy is decreasing exponentially with respect to time so at a time t is equal to 1 by gamma 
where gamma is b by m, so 1 by gamma is m by b, the energy becomes e0 e raised to minus gamma t, where t is 1 by gamma, so this gamma is get cancelled, so this is e to the power minus 1 is 0. That is, the energy decreases to 0.368 of its initial energy, that is, 36.8 percentage of its initial energy. Where tau is called damping time or time constant or characteristic time. So the time constant tau can be defined as the time required to decrease the energy of a damp oscillatory damped harmonic oscillator to 0.368 of its initial energy that is the time required to decrease to 36.8 percentage of its initial energy okay thank you for watching